What's going on guys, it's Tox, we back with the video. Um, this is another Plain Jane uh, tutorial video. And um, this one's gonna be a pretty brief one. Um, I'm gonna just kind of address a question that pops up over and over and over again. And for some of y'all, it might seem pretty simple. Um, so if you're already reading the title of this, you may wanna skip this video. But for those of you that have been, you know, uh, stuck on this for whatever reason, uh, this video should help you out. Um, so today we're going to be um, showing you guys how to change the shop logo in Plain Jane. It's super simple, and um, I'm not going to waste any time. Just get straight into it. Should take less than like three, four minutes. I feel like, but we'll see how far we get. Um, <clears throat> so we're already in the customizer. Um, this is a demo store that we created. We made this uh, Frank Ocean concept store. Using Plain Jane, the latest version, V1.42, yeah, 1.4.2. Uh, um, let's see. Yeah, so to change the shop logo, all we have to really do is uh, come here on the side to this little paintbrush icon here. So, I mean, of course, I mean, I would assume you know how to get the customizer by now. I mean, you just go to um online store and then you know you can just go there and hit customize it's it's very straightforward you should be able to do that um but when you're in the customizer you're going to want to come and click on this theme settings paintbrush right here if you click that and then you go to shop logo you can enter in uh you know the logos that you want and even change the size of them so it's it's really it's really simple that's that's about it yeah, we have an enter screen logo here and then we have shop logo. So what's the difference? The difference is the enter screen logo is how it sounds is for the enter screen. And then the shop logo is for everywhere else on the site. We did this because uh, it's it's pretty common for people to have, um, you know, different backgrounds kind of going on on their their landing page compared to what's going on inside or further deeper in the site. So we we gave this option if you want to have different variations of your logo. So say that, you know, um, you have like a logo that's white and you make this background like a darker background color, right? Um, but then you want to make the background white when you go inside the shop. Let's click in here. And say you want to keep it white, right? The issue now, all right, let me get rid of this background. The issue would be now is that that same white logo won't show up anymore. So we decided to give you guys two options um, so you can have some variation and, and um, you know, just be a bit more uh, creative with the way you design your store. So that's about it. Um, there shouldn't really be any questions after this. But if you do have questions, uh, you know, just make sure you leave a comment. Um, this video helped you out. Leave a like um, and I'll keep making more and more videos on this and um, just further, like just deeper advice on running a Shopify store for a brand um, that's even just past like plain Jane light tutorials. So, um, all right, guys, peace. Oh, and make sure you get in that Discord. The Discord is important if you guys want to stay up to date with everything going on. But again, peace.